So back in 1954, some guy played Godzilla in the old Godzilla movies. And he spent so much time in the suit, he started to deform and actually grow into the suit. And the suit became his skin. I'm talking about the man in the suit. And this incident I'm talking about is known as the Godzilla suit incident. In the previous reaction video, we watched a few of these videos. But there's a bunch of others we haven't seen yet. And I just saw one day ago, they uploaded a brand new one. I'm talking about unknowingly the person that's been making these terrifying videos. And I gotta warn y'all, these videos, kinda scary. I'm not gonna lie. So if you get scared easily, enjoy. Welcome everyone to Dark Corners. I'm your host Dark. Smash like. Let's get straight into it. So this tape right here is from 1954. I snuck around the Toho building a day after the encounter with the man in the suit. I found a tape labeled... Okay, well, I cannot read that. <laughs> I realized this was some years after the Angurius incident. Okay, we remember that from the previous reaction video. Let me just show it. So previously, they actually encountered the man in the suit, and he's kind of mad. He's kind of angry. He's starting to go a little bit crazy. Oh, is, is this whole thing going to be in Japanese? Because I, I, I have a problem. I only speak Japanese. We are fully... Oh, I cannot read that, bro. We are fully aware of the situation we are in. We will do our best to hear so they can listen. We will try and... Let's... Let's start. I cannot read that. Wait, <laughs> please tell me they got something in the description. Oh, okay. They got this in the description. This is good. Okay, I'm going to try to translate this as it goes. So what they say is, we are fully aware of the situation we are in. We will do our best to test what threw me to hear so they can train him. We will try and do some audio tests. Let's start with the man in the suit. We have him in a cell. Make sure he is there until you can train him. He destroyed the light and only the darkness, but that's okay. We have a light. Okay, I have no idea what this means, but uh, apparently they got the man in the suit in a cell. So they captured him. They said, nah, bro, you're too crazy. We're going to hire somebody else to play Godzilla. What the heck is this? Is that the tree trunk? Or is that the man in the suit? Because it kind of looks like Godzilla's feet. I'm kind of a feet expert, so that's how I would know. Wait, does Godzilla have those? So they're doing audio tests on him. I don't know why they're doing that. Did he go deaf or something? Or are they trying to train him using like audio triggers? And if they are trying to train him, what are they training him for? <laughs> they're gonna throw him in an army? Make a Godzilla suit army? That actually sounds kind of scary. That's probably what America would do. I love you, America. Gotta say that in case I want to get through custom. <laughs> Wait, I think these subtitles that I read are supposed to be throughout the entire video. Because I can still hear some lady kind of saying stuff in the background. Did y'all hear that? Was that? Is that the man in the suit talking? His voice is all deformed and stuff. What could he be saying? Okay, he he can talk. I'm actually starting to wonder what this is. I just assumed it's uh, Godzilla's uh, like legs and feet, but... What? And I think I might be tripping, but it almost sounds like English? It doesn't really sound Japanese. What the heck is that? I think something went wrong there. 
Don't quote me on that, but it didn't sound like stuff went the way they want, wanted it to go. What? What does scan mean? Not a jump scare, right? We can still hear something. It's music. I really hope the music ain't copyrighted. The S video got copyright striked. Wait, we see something. In the middle. Is that just a, uh, like, video? No, that is definitely something, y'all. I see teeth. I see eyes. I see a big nose. That is the man in the suit. It's Godzilla. And it looks like he's, he's still growing into the suit. It makes sense. This is from 1958. Oh, look at those teeth, bro. Are those his actual teeth? Are even his teeth deforming and growing into Godzilla's mouth? That is terrifying. It's kind of interesting to try and place all these videos in a timeline. Because as you can see, that video we just saw is from 1958. And we've seen videos in the previous one that were from like 1962. So it's not chronological. Like this next video right here is also from 1962. This person says, I was mailed this tape. I don't think someone in the Toho studios made this. Remember, Toho are the people that made Godzilla, the movies. You don't understand. What don't I understand? You killed my family? Me? I didn't do anything to you, bro. You Americans cheered when we lost. Not American. We lost our homes. We lost our families. You nuked us. Yup. This all happened. If you guys paid attention to history class, the nuke took my wife. The nuke took my kids. R.I.P. my man. Hiroshima was our home. I left for a business trip. Oh, so he wasn't there. You took everything from me. So I think it's safe to assume the person that made this tape is the man in the suit. But did he make this tape while he was in the suit or was this before? Getting rid of the people who, who wronged us. So he's on like a revenge trip. But I, I still gotta know, guys. Did he make this tape while he's in the suit? Because how did he do that with those short Godzilla arms? Like, that, I got so many questions about that. Like, look at those arms. There's no way he can, like, type or, like, cut film together. Because this is 1962. They didn't even have computers and editing software. They had to, like... What the heck? Never mind. I wasn't roasting you at all. Did you guys see that? Like, in this frame... He was already looking at us. Look at those pupils. He's looking straight at the camera. He got his mouth closed right here. And then when he opens it, that is the most terrifying thing I have ever seen. Look at those teeth. Those teeth do not look normal. Even for a monster, they don't look normal. They don't look like they should fit inside of his mouth. Even the bottom teeth. It looks like some of the teeth are even outside of his mouth. Mouth. <laughs> okay, that's terrifying. But still, I don't think he could make a tape like this with these short arms. So what this clip also confirms is what I said in the previous video. My theory was the man in the suit, he was working on the Godzilla movies because the Godzilla movies were kind of like a metaphor for the nuclear bomb that was dropped on Japan. So the movie was a big success while it was this metaphor. Then at some point, the war was a little bit further in the past and Toho Studios, the people that made Godzilla, they started working together with American studios to bring King Kong and Godzilla together in like an ensemble movie. And the man in the suit did not like that. Why not? Because the Americans dropped the bombs. And now they were working together with the Americans. They had him in the movies. And obviously he felt that was a big betrayal. So that's probably one of the reasons why he went crazy. That's actually pretty obvious. Uh, I don't know why I'm acting like I'm smart. This next clip is called Dorsal Extraction. It's from 1962. So this is one of the later ones. I recently got two sets of mail. So we don't know who's been making these clips, do we? They were shabby, but they came from Toho. They didn't look professional. Was it more mail from the man in the suit? What do you guys think? They looked sloppy. All right, bro. No, no reason to like roast this guy's mailing. 
One was how nobody at Toho mailed me the weird package, even though the mailing address was from there. What? I, I didn't get it. Second was that I was fired. They must have thought I was telling people this. They were correct. So this guy's been fired. He was working for Toho. I think he was working on the King Kong and the Godzilla movie. Thankfully, I had befriended someone to be a spy and get me photos and tapes of what was happening. So we have a spy inside of Toho Studios. He came here earlier with a tape called something something. Translation. Dorsal extraction. Dorsal extraction. Isn't that just when they take like your your um the the uh the the, the tooth that's like in the the uh, what's it what's it what's the tooth you use to chew your chewing tooth we'll call it that the chewing tooth we will try and get him out of the suit <gasps> so they're talking about the man in the suit they're gonna try to get him out in 1962 he's been inside of the suit for almost eight years we are unsure if this is going to work. After eight years, bro, that is not a suit anymore. That's just his skin. You cannot take a man out of his skin. Oh, we got some we got some footage of the man in the suit. He's still growing into the skin. It's only getting worse. I mean, at this point, just, just let him be. Let him be. Let him live his life as Godzilla from now on. He'll probably be a celebrity in Japan. A very dark celebrity. Terrifying celebrity. What is that? Why does that look like a person? I, th I think it's supposed to be a tail. Whoa. So when they said they're going to try to get him out of the suit, they meant they're just going to saw the suit open with a flipping chainsaw? That's his skin, bro. Y'all literally said that's his skin now. He was very cooperative. So maybe he wants to get out of the suit as well. I didn't think of that. We thought it would hurt him, but it didn't. Did it work? Did they get him out of the suit? But he's like deformed. He's grown into the suit. So the way he looks is Godzilla. He's got short arms now, big head. The results are fantastic. I don't trust it. There's no way that worked. They literally said he grew into the suit. Like, imagine this. If I grabbed you and took you out of your skin what do you have left just muscle and flesh i guess and tendons and like bones but maybe he still had his human skin under the suit wait there's some movement here what the heck are we looking at and can i show that to you guys i don't know i'm surprised that is in the end because the spy told me that after two minutes of this being filmed the man in the suit would attack a man with a camera he told me the flash from the camera hurt his eyes so the man in the suit is now the man out of the suit but he's still kind of cuckoo. he's not uh he's not really normal but what would you expect he spent eight years inside of a suit the person took photos while they ran we're gonna get photos of the man outside of the suit. This is probably going to be terrifying. Huh? But... Those are Godzilla feet. Once again, I'm a feet expert. But I thought they got him out of the suit. Did they not get him out? Did I misunderstand? Maybe. Because obviously the, the man in the suit... Is still the man in the suit. And he's still crazy. He's still violent. He's still bloodthirsty. So why was he cooperative? What the heck? Whoa. Alright, I, I must have misunderstood everything. So they tried to get him out of the suit. He was very cooperative. Co but I guess it didn't work. Because as you guys can see... We still got the man inside of the suit. He keeps looking more and more creepy every single picture we get of him. Look at this. You can see his eyes looking straight at the camera. Is this the shape of his mouth or is that just a shadow? Because if that's the shape of his mouth, that's scary. Like you could fit a whole head in there. And once again, he's grown into the suit. So if this is his mouth, 
That means his actual physical jaw, like his human jaw, is deformed to the point where it can open up like this. <laughs> this next tape is about six years older from 1956. Angurius suit. I think Angurius is a different monster in the Godzilla movie universe. So did the same thing happen to this actor? Did he also grow into his suit? Because if yes, that means it's the third actor that it happened to. <laughs> like at which point do you stop using suits? After digging for it, they had finally found it. He finally got the tape I wanted. So the spy finally got one of the tapes that we were looking for. What's on this tape? I want to know what happened to the man in the Angurius suit. Wait. Oh, wait, I'm tripping. All right, so this is the same guy that was in this video right here. You guys see this video called the Angurius suit incident from 1955. So what happened in this video, another actor playing a different character got bitten by the man in the suit. And he also started deforming and growing into his suit. But I'm not sure what happened to him afterwards. So I guess that's what we're about to find out. I was kind of confused because this video used to be right here, but I guess they deleted it and re-uploaded it. Could it be because Toho threatened them? I don't know. All I know is that Toho got right strike me do with that information what you want <laughs> so i was wondering what happened to him but i guess we're finally gonna find out i just assumed he didn't survive he wasn't built like the man in the suit he finally got the tape i wanted but if he did survive that means there's two men in the suits i want to know what happened to the man in the ang we're gonna call it the angie suit from now on because i don't know how to pronounce that i think this is um the toho studios logo i'm just assuming we have tried our best to comply with the other person mutated in the suit. Dude, they're calling it mutating? With his persistence, hurts our finances. What? Cash over human lives. Whatever. Whatever. What they just said, though, they called it mutating. Which gives me a whole new theory, guys. Because I never really wondered... How it was even possible for the man in the suit to grow into a suit and to like morph into it. But it makes sense. They dropped a bomb, a nuclear bomb on Japan. And I didn't really pay that much attention in class, but I'm pretty sure nuclear bombs, they can literally, if you get hit by a nuclear bomb, it's literally like destroying your atoms or like moving them around and most people can't survive that. The man in the suit when the bombs dropped was on a business trip, but maybe he was still close enough to the nuclear like air and stuff where it actually mutated his atoms and that's why he was able to grow into the suit that would also explain why biting this other guy would make him transform and mutate into his suit as well i guess it's kind of like a what the heck i just heard my my okay we're gonna ignore that but it would make sense why he would be able to infect him by biting it so it all makes sense now and I really hope that ain't Toho's lawyers at my door. So if it hurts their finances, what are they going to do about it? Are they just going to throw him out? People want to see him, but he doesn't want to be seen. So he's alive. He also survived. But maybe he's not crazy. I was confused at first. This was all? No. Then he started to explain. So we have a spy. Out there at Toho Studios. He explained that the next movie. Was supposed to be the man in the NG suit. Versus the man. Bro I can't read that fast. Versus the man in the suit. Wait so you mean Godzilla versus NG? They have tried their best. Wanted to comply with Injurious. Like if they were training a dog to do tricks. He snapped a photo of them. Trying to comply with the Injurious. So he still has like a will of his own. Okay, that's even scarier than the man in the suit, if you ask me. Because this guy transformed into a creature that walks on four legs. They said they were going to use force on him, using tasers and such. Why don't they just use puppets and animatronics? Come on, y'all. I'm pretty sure if you guys care about your finances, using puppets is way cheaper than using actors that keep transforming and mutating. But he warned me that there was a movie in the works. Something about Gojira, a.k.a. Godzilla, battling a giant moth. Oh, yeah, we know which one it is. I, this is also a creature in the Godzilla movies. I just don't remember what it's called. But it's a giant moth. <laughs> I really hope they didn't use an actor for the moth, because that'd be even worse. Imagine mutating into, like, a discount butterfly. A butterfly, but worse. 
This next tape is about a rare newspaper from 1964. Did they write something about the man in the suit? Because as far as I know, nobody knows about this. I have tried to get off the situation and just leave Japan. But if I tried to, I'd probably be arrested. Why? Is, is, is the government involved now? I went too far into this rabbit hole. Too far to the point I can't get out. What is going on in Japan, bro? What do you got going on there? It just keeps getting worse. Okay, so he he's done something illegal, I guess. Or like Toho suing him. Somewhere in the making of the new movie, the man in the suit somehow escaped. Hey, if you ask me, the government should be arresting the people over at the studio. How do I know this? The newspaper. Is that what... They wrote something in the newspaper about a creature? They probably don't realize that it's the man in the suit. It was on the news. Oh, actually, it looks like they know it's the man in the suit. Okay, so what's the problem? Surely you can leave. It's not like you did a whistleblowing thing. Title. Monstrous movie. Monster sighting. Okay, but... Do they think it's the actual Godzilla or some? Sightings and witnesses have seen a creature that resembles a lanky and tall Godzilla. Okay, so they... Witnesses have seen it, but nobody's confirmed it. And I'm guessing the picture on the newspaper is like a Photoshop or whatever they had back there. One late night couple started to travel home as a husband took some photos. The husband was a photographer and thought taking a picture of the road would be an inspiration to his next photo piece. Wait, was that the picture that was on the front page? Because he looked huge in there. There's no way, right? No way that's a real picture. One of the photos captured this. Come on, bro. Stop teasing me. I want to see what they got. Bro. That is actually crazy. What? How big is the man in the suit? He's like at least twice the height of the vehicle. And look at how wide he is. He's like the width of an entire section of the road. Like one half of the road. That is insane. Okay, he's actually starting to become Godzilla-sized. He's actually growing. He's not just growing into the suit. I think he's actually growing into Godzilla. Around later that night, a boy would see a silhouette of this mysterious beast. Thinking it was Godzilla, he stormed outside with a camera, trying to take a photo of it. So we get even more pictures. So what did this kid see? He saw a silhouette. So he might not have gotten a clear picture. Probably like something shadowy. These were the photos, plural, he was able to take. Dude, this looks like the old guy, like uh, the old Bigfoot um, sightings. What? Look, he's the length of the light pole. What the heck? So he's just roaming around in Japan now. Look at this. Oh, we, 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 we can take a better look at him this way. We can have a better um, sense of how big he is. So this is a car right here. Cars are pretty big. And he's like twice the size of the car. So was this actor always this tall? Or is this really growing into the suit that made him this tall? Dude, his picture is so cursed. But they took pictures and they weren't attacked. As you guys can see, this kid is pretty close to the man in the suit and he survived we have tried to interview the kid asking him what he had seen and to draw a picture of the creature why, why are y'all asking him that like he didn't take like three clear pictures this is 1964 that's the clearest picture you could get back then <laughs> why would he draw that he probably draws stick figures i've seen the film with my dad i know what godzilla would look like said the kid okay so the kid knows it's godzilla he knows. He's seen the movie with his dad. But the newspaper and all the adults probably don't, don't believe it was Godzilla. The thing I saw outside on the street wasn't Godzilla. Wait, what? So he's saying it's... Whoa, whoa, hold on. I completely misunderstood. So the kid is saying he saw the movie. He knows what Godzilla looks like. But the thing he saw outside that he took pictures of was not Godzilla. I got goosebumps. I got booze gumps. Y'all, I got booze gumps right now. That is 
that is nice. That is creepy. That's goosebump inducing. So the kid knows it was something far more terrifying than a movie monster. It was the man in the suit. The beast skin looked fake yet real. Very uncanny. It's probably because it's literally just a suit. But the man in the suit grew into it. So now it's like his skin. But it's still made out of like whatever the suit was made out of. But skin is kind of alive. So now the suit is like alive. I don't think it was a creature. It might be some man in a suit. Oh yeah, that makes sense. It makes sense. This kid ain't dumb. And technically it's true. It's a man in a suit. But uh, it's a little bit more terrifying than that. I don't know how I can explain his face. It somehow kept changing. I think it's because of the lack of sleep. His face kept changing. What did he mean by that? Like his face was moving? But I do remember one of his faces. He quickly drew a drawing of it. Bruh. Is it just me? Or does it almost look like he's smiling? There's like a big white grin on his face. He must be happy because he escaped. But what is he planning on doing now? That's the big question. Toho got wind of this fast, explaining this was a promotion for their new movie. Uh, 1964, I don't know if they did promotions like this back then. They would have been very ahead of that time, I think. But this is a smart little lie they made up, though. It's probably good promotion anyways. Any promotion is good promotion. Somehow they were able to stop any more copies of this story from printing again. Now, wouldn't anybody find that suspicious? You're doing this for promo and then you pretty much... Quit promoting it? Mm, I don't know, y'all. If I was back there in 1964, I would have questioned that. I have too many questions. What was he even doing outside? How did he even escape? And were Toho able to catch him? That is a good question. This is in 1964. The first video we reacted to... What the heck? Is the Matra. Why is there a frame of Matra at the end here? Does this have something to do with the man in the suit's escape? Anyways, as I was saying, that tape right there was from 1964. And the first tape we reacted to was from 1958. And this tape, they actually had the man in the suit inside of a cell. So they had him in a cell for a long time. I don't know how he managed to escape, but I think this next tape right here is going to give us some explanations. This is the Mosura suit incident, also from 1964. So we're getting another clip from the movies. Toho, don't sue. Please don't sue me. But it's got a red filter on it, which is kind of creepy. But I'm also hoping that will uh, help me get past the copyright. <laughs> <laughs> so this is one of the movies where they had them. I thought the name was Matra, but it's actually Mosura. So wh why does this look so cursed exactly? Here we have him. Is this still played by the man in the suit? This is in 1964. So they managed to catch him, I guess. Because he escaped in 1962, right? The spy had befriended had told me what had happened during the time the man in the suit had escaped. So they definitely got him back and they even convinced him, convinced or forced him to make more movies. He had told me that something went wrong. Uh, I could, I could have told you that. He said this has happened because of what conditions the man in the suit was in. So they did try to get him out of the suit. Maybe that only made things even worse. You guys saw what the kid drew. He was lathered with some face that made him look different and a bit shiny. Uh, why? Just because it looks better in the movies? He had to wear a glossy type of contact so they could hide his bloodshot eyes. But we can see him wearing those contacts right there. He was forced to withstand high wind? First of all, why? Second of all, how did he get the high wind there? Did they just have a, a box of high wind they would open at him? He was dragged around. By what? By, um, by a truck or something? Because he looks heavy. 
Like, even the suit looks really heavy. So wh how exactly were they doing this? He was treated like a circus animal. Poor guy. It's no wonder he went crazy. Hey, what's up with this background noise? What's going on with this tape? During production, instead of the man in the suit fighting another man in a monster suit, it will be replaced by a puppet. They should have done this from the start. <laughs> it would have saved us so much trouble, y'all. But they did get some good promotion in the newspaper. So, the man in the suit saw Musura, the puppet mod, as a living being. He thought someone was inside the puppet because of how lifelike it acted. So he's thinking the puppet is a real person. So does he like this real person? Or is he going to do the same thing that he did to the last guy in a suit? He's going to bite him, throw him in water, hurt them. Toho thought this was a very smart tactic. Until they realized they had a problem. Ooh, what's the problem here? Is he going to... Is the, is the puppet going to... Someone needed to be in one of the larva suits. How do they convince anybody to do this? They probably lie to them, right? They don't tell them the full story of the man in the suit. One female actor thought it was a good idea because of how much security they had. So she agreed to be in one of the shots inside of the larva suits. So she knows about the man in the suit and she still agreed to do this. It was originally her first day on the job and invited her parents to see her act. Her parents didn't care about what character she was in the movie. They were happy that she was even included in production. Okay, so it was her first day, so it's fair. It's it's. I I I, I don't think she knew about the man in the suit. It's fair to say they don't they don't they they. I can't talk anymore. Sadie, the amount of security isn't going to help her out of the trap she put herself in. She has no clue. They did not tell her about the man in the suit. I think. I don't think it's something they tell people on the first day on the job. In one of the scenes they were filming. The man in the suit snapped. This has so far happened in every single scene they were filming. So. Going after the Mosura puppet. Biting onto it. After realizing that the Ma was a puppet. He would go ballistic. And charge after the woman in the larva suit. Uh oh. So did she just like crawl away like a worm? How did she get, get away? Remember if she gets bitten by the man in the suit. She will also start mutating into a larva ow oh man she got the shortest end of the stick this is the worst one so far the man in the suit charges forward against the other suit like she doesn't even have any real legs she's literally gonna have to crawl around on her belly the larva suit had plenty of headroom for her to duck down but that won't stop the man from charging deeper but this is new we're getting like an infographic while her head gets bitten, her parents see everything. Oh no, that's why you never take your parents to your job, bro. You don't want to see your parents. You don't want your parents to see you working hard. At least, I'm going to keep it real, man. If I got kids later, I don't want to see them work hard. I want to see them work smart. They try to intervene. See, this is what you get when, you're, uh, when your child works too hard. They get into situations like this. Wait, they're trying to help her. I don't think the man in the suit is going to like that very much. Ooh. Uh oh. I think he got a whole all you can eat buffet. They were both mauled to death by the man in the suit. So they're talking about the parents. But what about the daughter? She got, she got bitten in the head. After mauling them, the man in the suit would immediately try and protect the larva suit. But the production crew were ready this time. So he's trying to protect her. Probably because now she's mutating into a creature like him. Ugh, that tea was cold. With tasers, they stunned him away from the lava suit. In some fit of rage, he barges through security and escapes. Wait. Again? Or is this how he escaped the first time? There was a team that was quickly dispatched to catch the man in the suit. Four men were asked to stay with the larva suit. Wanting to try and get her out of the suit. I think it's too late, y'all. She's probably already melting into the suit. As a matter of fact, she's a larva now. So kill her because she's going to start multiplying. The spy was in the team to get the man in the suit. Who the heck is this spy and why is he 
Like, why is he still working at this studio? Just to spy on him? It took an hour to find the man in the suit. Okay, so this time they actually found him on time. So why did it take him so long to find him the last time? Like, did they not realize he escaped? They saw him looking around the forest as if he was just wandering around and looking at nature. So they, they're keeping him in a cell, obviously. But this guy just wants to be free. As if he was calm. Maybe they just, they should let him free. Maybe that's gonna save them a lot of trouble. Let's get a different actor. The calmness broke as it saw the people trying to capture it. But then again, he's probably uh, taking no payment. So he's probably the cheapest option. The man in the suit was surrounded. But they're still hiring other people for the other monsters in the suit. So I don't think it's that much of a hassle to just get rid of the man in the suit. Then we'll start to shake violently. Violently. Oh my god. I, I have to reboot, guys. I don't know what's going on with me today. He twitched as a sudden sound. As if he was vibrating. What? He was going like... Oh my god, that's actually the sound he was making? What the heck? It vomited a red boiling liquid. Presumably his own blood. Why was it boiling? Boi bo 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 Why was it boiling? You know how hot you gotta be to start boiling? Like at least 100 degrees Celsius. What's that, like 450 Fahrenheit or something? No, that's probably like 200 Fahrenheit. So how hot is it in that suit? And how is he still alive? Is his, his blood is literally boiling. He's literally burning from the inside out. Oh my god, that's not, how much how much did he vomit, bro? Because it's still going. It was probably a last resort the creature had, but somehow they had a hold of the beast and took it back. What I'm thinking is, we all know Godzilla has a, a super attack, his atomic breath. What if the man in the suit also somehow got his own version of that? His atomic breath is just boiling blood coming out of his body. I mean, look at this. It's literally steaming. That's how hot the blood was. Look at this, guys. I really think I might be right. That's his version of the atomic breath. So he's kind of turning into a cursed version of what Godzilla is. Because it really is kind of an attack. Because if he hits you with that boiling blood, you're going to burn your skin off. They left quickly to go put the man in the suit into a secure place. Bro is turning into Godzilla. He's literally growing into a real Godzilla. That's kind of cool. But... He's like the most cursed, the most scary, and most disturbing version of him. So they feared the worst coming back. What happened to the woman in the larva suit? Did she, uh... Honestly, that might be better for her. Uh, take her out of her misery. Stomp on her. She's a larva now. You can do that. Come on, guys. Spit it out. This is what they expected. Okay, we've seen this before. So they expect a regular sized human in like a regular sized sp Huh? No, so this is what they expected because it happened before. So if this is not what they got, then what happened to her? This is what they found. Did she mutate into something completely different? She mutated into the moth? D did she? Am I right? Did I just guess that? Because if I guess that, I'm I'm like low-key a genius. What the Okay, I think I might be partially right, because that's a, a, a cocoon, right? So she is she's transforming into the moth. Because I'm pretty sure whenever uh, a larva goes into a cocoon as well, they're like upside down. So what the heck are they gonna do with this thing? Are they gonna let her transform or are they gonna destroy it? What do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comment section. I guess we're gonna have to wait for another tape to come out. Uh, in the meantime, make sure y'all check out Unknowingly down below and smash the like button. See ya!